But before we step there, I just want to understand how will you ever test string theory? And we know in advance that you have naysayers out there, uh, physicists among them, who are saying you're diverting time, resources, graduate students, faculty positions to something that doesn't even classify as a legitimate scientific theory or, or hypothesis because you need to be able to test it. So let me hear a, your response to that. Absolutely. I think that's a really fair question. Um, you know, for any theoretical framework where you're trying to describe things, if there's a big intellectual leap, right, and for example, extra dimensions is a pretty big leap, um, you have to justify that with a payoff, right? You have to say, what is the benefit that I'm going to give you in terms of, you know, structure and predictions and, and you know, what you're learning from this theory. So to push back on the, you know, how are we going to test it? Um, let me observe first that in uh, particle theory in general, the time scales between predicting structure in particle theory and then being able to see it in experiment over the last half century have gone, you know, increased in size considerably. So one example of this is the prediction of the Higgs boson made by Peter Higgs, which took about 50 years from the prediction that this particle should exist to its observation at the LHC. That means the theorists are just way ahead of the experimentalist. I would say that that dialogue of theory and experiment is really important, but I'm just pointing out that direct experiment of, you know, direct verification by experiment of lots of things is hard. That doesn't mean that one shouldn't do it. Um, for string theory, I would say the problem is a lot worse than it was for something like the prediction of the Higgs boson, because the energy scales are so massive to directly uh, observe strings. So for me personally, I, I'm interested in trying to decide whether string theory is useful a lot faster than that in the point of view of my career. And I remain very agnostic <laughs> as to whether that's the case. So you, you want to be me, alive when, when I want to be alive to when we decide this. And, <laughs> and also, you know, if somebody could could demonstrate to me right now that string theory was for sure not useful for our universe, I'd choose to work on something else. 